We're back, everybody. With more class seven. You're damn right with more class seven. When you want to dig up dirt, there's no better place to go than the local watering hole. Glad to see someone knows what's up. Wait, how and why are you agreeing with him about that? We're going to have a long talk about underage drinking later, Ash. Sure is lively. Somebody's, somebody here's got to know something useful. Instructor, look. There. We know those girls. Class 7. And is that... Crazy place for a reunion, huh? Lenora. Looking sharp, Instructor Reen. Class 7? Glad you're all okay. Damn right I'm looking sharp. Look at what me. What brings you to Ordis anyway? If you guys are planning on starting something, I want in. You don't get in. Okay, you can be in. You used to be a fucking pirate. Like a legit pirate. On the high seas. But the low Ds. Leo, you're okay. I heard you were in town, but damn, didn't expect to run into you at a place like this. Were you here the whole time? Yeah, I've had my I, I've had eyes on me ever since I arrived though, so I haven't been able to do a lot. I really wanted in on that fight over in Ulster too. Yeah, it's the thought that counts. The members of old class seven showed up to help out in your place. Yeah, it all worked out fine. I'm just glad to see you turn up safely. Oh, well, Tina's gonna be so relieved when we tell her. <laughs> I guess so. Glad to hear she's doing okay. <laughs> Instructor Reen, I'm so glad you're okay. Did you come here to ask about those rumors? That's right. It's why you met up with Lenora, isn't it? Have you found out anything about the people being held here in Ordis? Sure have. At this point, it's only rumors, though. But if they're right, Instructor Toa is one of them. Toa? Little baby Toa. Someone matching her description was seen at Rock Hell Station. The info said the IDF took a short girl with a white uniform to the mansion. I'm almost It's almost certain it's her. Hmm, Instructor Toa's at the mansion, huh? Oh man, trust her to be mixed up in this. Sometimes I wonder if fate has it out for me. Looks like I've got another reason not to run from this fight. Thanks for your help, Lenora. You too, Maya. You can leave the rest to. Wait, we can do more than this. Yeah, I'm sure we can find a hole in the surveillance. We'll do what we can. Why does Class 7 get to do everything? Let combat tactics show you what we've got. You too. <laughs> you sure talk big, huh? Thank you. We'll be glad to have you on board. It's times like this we all need to come together in the name of Thor's. <laughs> Hell yeah! Agreed. Huzzah! And let's do it and all that. Pip pip. Cheerio and frosted flakes and fruity loops and whatnot. Oh my. I noticed Muse and Leo's friends came in, but I'm sorry. I'm afraid I didn't notice you because of how much you've changed, Instructor Schwarzer. Don't worry about it. I can see why you wouldn't recognize me. After everything I'd heard, I've been worried sick. I can't believe all the branch campus students have gone missing. I'm sure you've all been through a lot. It makes me so happy to see you all again with smiles on your faces, despite everything. Thank you for coming back safely. <laughs> I think that should be our line. Thank you for the warm greeting, Miranda. Yeah, don't sweat it. I'm basically Leo's mom, after all, so her, so her teacher and friends are almost like family. Feel free to rely on me from here on out, too. Thanks, we might just take you up on that. But first, I must buy. I must make purchases. I don't need Miranda's paella. I don't need her paella. All right. Okay, no more stuff here. Something's going on in the Nobel district. I see Claire. Governor Regnitz. Major Claire. Thank you for coming out to meet me, Major Rebelt. I appreciate you keeping an eye on things while I was away. No, this is part of my duties, after all. Good work with the coastal inspection, sir. Sorry to hurry you, but I'd like to get right to it. Let's talk about the security detail. Understood. Why don't you fill me in as we walk? Damn, Claire, you got an ass on you. Dad. Even Major Claire's in Ordis? We're very lucky we weren't spotted. 
it is it isn't only the Imperial Defense Force, but the Railway Military Police as well. If they're cooperating with the governor, we'll need to stay sharp. Right, and we have a duty to observe my dad's actions, too. Let's stay on our guard while we gather information. Either way, hanging around here isn't exactly the best plan. Be careful not to get too close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we should leave for now. Somebody's watching us. Who would have thought we should meet again so soon? How the fuck did you find me? How the fuck did you get here so it fast? It would appear the Azure Chevalier was with them after all. Georg was indeed correct. Indeed. I suppose I have little choice but to perform my duty as a knight. Will you be able to complete your quest? I'll be watching with great interest. Red, I'm gonna I'm I'm get you. Maybe not now, maybe not here, but someday and somewhere, I'm gonna get you. You are going to get got. And they'll be like, damn, he got me. And I'll be like, that's what I said. Just like that. Isn't your family's home just past here, Muse? Yes, the residence of Count and Lady Egret, to be precise. However, wait a sec. Yeah. Is that the Imperial Defense Force, even out here? Looks like the home of the Viceland Army Supreme Leader hasn't escaped their surveillance. I hope your family's doing all right. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. Right before the Great Twilight began, I sent them away to a villa nestled in a fairly remote area. Damn, you really did see everything coming. My grandparents have been keeping an eye on me this whole time, and I'm sure I've set I've set their hearts full of worry. So no matter how difficult the going gets, I'll have to make <clears throat> I have to make all of that worrying pay off. She sounds pretty serious. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Anyway, let's stay the hell away for now. All right. Tinker with my orbments, Luthor. Musing and the Thor's group. It's certainly been a while, hasn't it? Around two months by my count. <sighs> oh, I gotta wake up. You seem like you're doing well, Luther. Well, actually, about that. What is it? It's not a big deal or anything, but, well, it's my grandfather. He knows what it's like on, the, on a battlefield, from being back on the campaigns many years back. Lately, he's been telling me a lot about it. He goes into all the gory details of if, as if he's just discussing the weather. <clears throat> Seeing people get their arms blown off, hiding from the enemy in a pile of corpses. All of his stories are pretty gruesome. And he knows I get queasy with that kind of thing. <clears throat> I think he's doing it on purpose just to mess with me. Oh dear, that does sound harsh. What can you do? Old men love their old war stories. You got my condolences. I just see here now. That's a cool. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff right there. Ooh. Wait a moment now. No, not if I remember. Oh boy, I can actually make Lost Genesis. That'll be fun. Alright, Grandpa, what's up? <laughs> Lady Egret, you all. It's been some time, Strauss. Oh, you're the glass artisan, an acquaintance of Muse's, right? Thank you for your help during our field exercises. Hmm, seems like it seems that you're not here without reason. Start by telling me about your situation. When I've got that information, I'll decide whether I should assist you or not. Looks like you've got a good head on your shoulders. You've been doing exactly that. I've been doing exactly that ever since I was a child. 
Of course we'll tell you about the situation. It's like this. Class 7 told Strauss about the circumstances that led them to sneak into Ortis. So you're here to rescue people confined in the mansion. I see. <laughs> Putting the talk of someone related to the branch campus aside, I do have some knowledge about this VIP. You do? Who is it? The other day, we got called out to the mansion on an urgent request from some government officials from Heimdall. We were working on the glass in one of the rooms, so I happened to catch sight of their guest while she was being shown around. It was only for a second, but there was no mistaking her. It had to be Empress Priscilla. Ah, yes. The hot one. The Empress? If it was her, then... I see. They wanted to offer a proper greeting for the Empress, so they commissioned professional glass cleaning services. Father's always been detail-oriented that way. <laughs> Continuing on from Crossbell, huh? But I guess this is just part of me settling things. Not something I can pretend isn't happening. Ash. Alright, let's take this as a guiding sign from Adios. Not knowing the full details of the situation until now, I've been keeping this to myself. But now it looks like the twists and turns of destiny have brought all of you here to Ortis. Now that you're here, go ahead and do what you have to do. I can help out with your ordinance. Thank you, that would be incredibly helpful. We'll hit you up if we need a hand. We've we done investigating already? Yeah, with all the info we got now, we should take some time to go over it together and draw up a plan. Is there anywhere you could recommend, Muse? The Seabreeze Tavern comes to mind. It's on North Street. I know the place well, and I'm sure I can get us a table in a cozy corner. Works for me. Let's head on over. Reading the others immediately. Ordered beverages and light meals. Huzzah, food. Yeah, food. Reen ordered dinner. Well, baby dinner. Can't fight on a full stomach, but you can't exactly fight on an empty stomach. You gotta fight on, like, a medium stomach. Just getting enough energy to murder and watch the life drain from somebody's eyes. And then you can drink their blood and eat their heart and bestow upon yourself their courage. You know, just like Highlander. Just like that. Just like Highlander. Just like Zoolander. No. The innkeeper set them up in the back of the establishment where they wouldn't stand out. With everyone seated, they reviewed their plans. So, for the time being, we have a general grasp on the situation in Ordis. <sighs> yeah, Governor Regnant seems to be keeping the disorder from getting too out of hand. But still, I would have never guessed that they were holding Empress Priscilla and Toa prisoner, of all people. So Toa's hanging out with the Empress, huh? She sounds like she's really moving up the ranks. Moreover, they're being confined to the Cayenne family's mansion, which currently serves as the office of Ordis' temporary supervisor. I'm sure they're being well taken care of, but what is Dad even thinking? What indeed? Despite being called a sworn friend of the Chancellor, he has outright opposed the war effort at every turn. There must be some kind of pressure behind this. There's no doubt about that. I don't know if it's any connection to Major Claire's arrival, but it is worth noting. Right. That reminds me. Hey, Crow, did something happen while we were over by the Cayenne Estate? Yeah. Aside from the Icy Maiden, I also caught sight of another familiar face. And not just anyone, but someone who would be, normally be jumping for joy to see Toa and the Icy Maiden in the flesh. Yeah, Crow's got eyes like a... well, Crow. <clears throat> really? I didn't even notice. If that's true, then we won't be able to move forward using ordinary methods. So we've got to deal with that crazy biker chick, huh? We sneaking in then? <sighs> Easier said than done. Even so, I do want to check in on what my dad's real intentions are here if I can. Given that you used to live here, would you mind sharing some ideas regarding infiltration routes? Sorry, that probably sounded pretty insensitive. <laughs> I may be the rightful lady of the house, but personally, I don't have any objections to our breaking in. Not when it concerns a former instructor and the mother of our most beloved princess. No matter what memories I may have of my parents there, what matters now is that we rescue those two. Agreed. With that kind of conviction, I'm prepared for whatever comes next. So about the infiltration route. I think that Crow might be more in the know than I am with that. Huh? Seriously? Come on, just how loose-lipped is Vita anyway? Okay, fine, follow me. I'll show you a real nice spot. Oh yeah, Crow. Crow, yeah. Crow's the man. Man Crow. Crow man. Smooth and silky. Smooth and silky. 
<laughs> I mean, look at his hair. Does it not look smooth and silky? Yeah, I suppose that would count. <laughs> huh, there's a door here? Huh, never noticed it when we came here on field exercises. This leads to the underground waterways. We can use this route to get into the estate. <laughs> Good thing the first Duke Cayenne of the Middle Ages decided to build an emergency exit. There was something just like this back in Berea Hard. I'd never... I'd never have got out of the Provincial Army's clutches if not for that. Oh yeah, baby Machias. He looks like a kid now. <laughs> I remember the spell I used to open that door. Wow, sounds like a real adventure. Wait, why is it you know so much about this place, Crow? I came here with Vita maybe five years ago. This is where I undertook my trials to become an Awakener. I see, that makes sense. That must be when Uncle Croyer gave Vita the key to this place. I'm guessing you still have it, Crow? Yeah, I brought it along just in case we needed to sneak in again. Man, Crow is just on top of business. Crow is somebody you have to watch like a hawk. <laughs> Did she really foresee all this back then? So we just gotta sneak in, right? Right. Everybody get ready. We've got asses to whoop. Heads to knock. Once you enter the underground waterway, you will not be able to return to town for some time. Please note the quest and some events you have yet to, yet to, will be yet to. Okay. Well, we're gonna make our save here first, then. Ready to go sewer surfing? Hmm? Ready to go sewer surfing, but don't want to. Oh, that's too bad. Because this is Elden Ring yeah, and we, uh, we, got Grim we got fucking imps to fight. No. And pipes to jump and pipes to go through. And it's no, no. It sucks. We will not be able to return for some time. Yep. Enter the waterway. Door open. Door close. <laughs> Okay, let's rock. Good look at waterways. I'd swim in these ways of water. No. I mean, it's not its not technically a sewer. It's like a waterway for, like, ocean water for, like, hydroelectric to pass through. You can tell we're below a port. It smells fishy. There are definitely some monsters around, but aside from that, it shouldn't be too hard for an invited guest like ourselves to get through. <laughs> Something tells me that monsters aren't the only thing we need to be worried about. Maybe the local rats just want to be friends. <laughs> if only. There's definitely something nasty lying in wait for us. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with this place either, so let's tread carefully. Don't worry, your pretty little head. I'll take point. I'm Crow. We get it. You're a total stud. Now let's move on. <laughs> Reen just can't let a crow have a break. Team, begin searching the area. You don't need me to remind you to stay on guard, but stay on guard. All right, let's rock. <laughs> All right. Shit. Let's begin. Huh. I'm going. Take this. It's down. Attack. This is the blade of the eight leaves. This is the blade. It's got leaves and there's eight of them. It's like a branch on a tree. Ah. It's probably some trick with the water level. Let's huh. look for the control huh. of them. Got a hot table here. Huh. Moving out. It does not give a whole lot of CP. Yeah. Yes. It increases CP gained as well. Let's go. I'm going. Ha. It's my turn. What a lie. That was. Huh? I'll treat you. You get him, Reen. We won, but stay sharp, everyone. Ready. Hey, yeah, there's our chance. I'm going now. An opening. Let's go. Shit, it's down. Attack. Yes. Yeah. It's my shit. It's down. Attack. Moving out. Over here. 
I'll treat you immediately. Yes, there. Yes. It's my turn. It's all good. My turn. It's my turn. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. If you. Let's go. This is the blade of the eight leaves. Yes, Reen. We know your blade is eight leaved. It's fine. We get it, Reen. Blade, eight leaves, and all that. Raz has. Right. Let's see what else we got going around here before we go that way. <clears throat> Ready. Shit. There. Now's our chance. Moving out. Over here. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. It's my turn. <laughs> Back at you. There. We won, but stay sharp, everyone. Man, these things are not giving me any time, Seapith. That's not Jackpot! Good. Ha! Shit! Ready! Shit! I think, uh, can Emma, would I even have? Yes, I actually would have space in my thing for the ingenuity ports for Emma. Actually, make another one of those is the question. She doesn't need venom flame. She needs ingenuity, so she can just can just spam arts all over the place. Okay. Steel bill. Oh wait a minute! No, this guy, this guy, this guy. So I need a water bell. Oh man, I need to. I need. I need some stuff. That's pretty good. Um, what was I doing? So I can't make another ingenuity. That is unfortunate. <clears throat> okay. Well, we shall press on and on and on then. Ha, shit! Ready. Water goes up. Platforms go up. starting area because I think there's a place I can go to near there. No. Okay. Hey up! Got a hot table here. Uh, Let's go. Uh, now. Attack. Moving out. Sit. It's my turn. Uh, now. An opening. It's my shit. Now. Attack. All right. Over here. They're down. I got you. <laughs> All right, we're doing pretty good so far. Shit! What didn't you say? Hey, yeah! This one's strong. Be careful. Arcus, activate. Arcus, activate. Shine. <clears throat> right. Moving out. Over here. Yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah. There. <clears throat> it's my turn. Yeah. I'm going. Ah, uh, one moment. Okay, I'm back. Arcus, act yeah. Moving Welcome out. back. Over here. I'm going. Uh, it's my turn. Killing all the monsters. It's my turn. Oh, all right. Not doing a great job of it. <laughs> my turn. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's okay though. What is he weakest to? Earth? Ugh, I never bring Earth. I always bring. 
Time, space, or mirage. Focus, activate. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Let's go. Oh, I'm in. I'm in trouble now. <clears throat> Cut him down. Here's what somebody who was in trouble would say. Let's go. It's my turn. Huh? Moving over here. I'm going. Huh? It's my turn. Yeah. I'm up. Huh. Let's go. Shit. Yes. Huh? All right. Yeah. My mom. I can't afford to lose. And yet you're going to lose. Ready. I found some treasure. Yuna found some treasures. <clears throat> well, don't. Well, don't that look like a uh, place that a boss fight's going to happen? <laughs> um, maybe. Ooh, and there's no, there's actually no more enemies around here for me to fight to get my CP back. That is un. Fortunate. <clears throat> Alright. Seems like a good place to stop. We'll go take down the boss next time. Till next time, we fight stuff. Yeah. <laughs>